Welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel. Who will win American Idol 2024? After watching every episode, here are our predictions. Who will win American Idol 2024? After watching every episode, here are our predictions. Jack Blocker, Will Mosley, Abby Carter. There are a lot of factors that come into play in the way that America votes for who will win American Idol. Some people vote for an artist whose story touches them, some vote for the cute contestants. There's the age factor where young people tend to vote more often than older audience members, so they vote young. And then there are those who truly vote for the next singing sensation. This year, America did the latter. They voted on talent. All the top three, Abby Carter, Jack Blocker, or Will Mosley, would make excellent American idols as they are singer-slash-songwriters who also play instruments and are immersed in music as a lifestyle, not a hobby. Even Katy Perry, who can be a tough judge, agrees. She told a small group of reporters after the performances on Sunday night, It's a really good top three. I'm impressed. I'm excited. It's different. That signals something interesting for Idol in general. I feel like Idol is on a steady up. It's like the only show of its kind that continues to just crawl up, which is amazing. You couldn't call it, Lionel Richie said of predicting a winner. You could not call it. I defy anybody to tell me you saw that coming. When it got to the first three and then you realize we're throwing off two, Emmy Russell and Tristan Harper, you start going. We are eliminating grade no, one talent. And while Luke Bryan had expected Tristan's name to be called when host Ryan Seacrest announced the top three, he finds no fault with the three that made it. I think it's a great top three, he said. 123. Abby Carter is the last remaining platinum ticket winner for the season, and, all things being equal, she should win American Idol. She has it all. She's a fabulous singer, which she proved either in the top seven or top eight night when she, McKenna Faith Breinholt, Julia Gagnon, and Cambrian performed Katie's Wide Awake. Bobby stood out as a cut above the rest and America recognized it and voted her through. And we've watched the singer-slash-songwriter, who plays multiple instruments, grow. When Abby began her idol journey, she sat behind the piano, she played her original songs, and she was great. And when theme nights began and she had to perform cover songs, she showed her adaptability and versatility. Then when Luke suggested she come out from behind the piano and connect with the audience more, she took the suggestion to heart, and she owned the idol stage. She has continued to blossom the entire season, which, in my opinion, makes her the one to beat. Bobby's just been solid since day one, Luke said. And Katie added, I always knew Abby had it in her. I'm glad she's played it like she has. Jack Blocker had the roughest introduction to American Idol this season. He was rejected by Lionel and Katie at his audition. Only Luke gave him a yes for a golden ticket to Hollywood. Luke was so sure that he saw something in Jack, he begged his fellow judges to change their minds. They didn't at first, so for the first time in American Idol history, there was a crew vote. The crew voted to send Jack to Hollywood, so Lionel changed his vote so Jack could move on. And he has moved on and on ever since, making it to the top three. Even so, he is still the dark horse to win it. If he does, it will be like Katie said on Disney Night, a Cinderella story. And who doesn't love a Cinderella story? Here's the joke with me and Jack. Lionel said, I threw him off in the early stages and they talked me into getting him back. And Will mostly, I went through half of his audition and had to catch a flight and walked out. So the two are now in the finals. Who knows, the business we live in. Jack is just so interesting, Luke said. The last couple of weeks, he's brought this stage presence and swagger and confidence that I think America really feels like this kid's ready. And Katie said, I'm actually really surprised by Jack but she meant it in a good way. There's no doubt that American Idol voters love to vote for country artists. Since the singing competition has been on ABC, country winners include Chase Beckham, Noah Thompson, and Lane Hardy, 
So Will has that going for him and it could be America's love of country music that will take him to the top. As Katie said, I think Will is amazing. He did the best vocal I've heard tonight. There's a lot of country fans and voters at American Idol. So I was like, well, someone country is going to probably make it. I'm really happy that it was Will. Will's story is an interesting one. He graduated from college about a year ago in May 2023 and decided that before he tied himself to a full-time job, he was going to give himself a year to pursue music to see where it would take him. He never expected to finish in the American Idol Top 3, so win or not, it is looking good that Will, who only learned how to play a guitar four years ago, will most likely give his pursuit of a music career a little more time. I said a week or two ago he has not hit a bad note all year, Luke said about Will's making top three. He picked some really, really good songs tonight. And everyone knows how important song selection is. The bottom line is that any of the three could win and it and be deserving of the honor, but my prediction is it should be Abby. As stated above, she's got it all. She's the whole package, and most importantly, enough experience to go with it. Fit.